I mean, what else? Zaslav wanting more Batman. What does this mean, Brian? What is he telling James Gunn to do? What does he, Matt Reeves do? What does he want? So the article that talks about this is is pretty interesting. You know, I, I read this headline and I started to read the content and it, <sighs> I think it refers to one thing in particular, but it it does go to show you like, when you have when you have a strong ceo personality who i don't question that david zaslav's a fan although he said he's a superman fan more than he's a batman fan but but someone who doesn't necessarily have the understanding of the storytelling of how to get there yeah this is what you can get i think sometimes which is look he's losing patience Look, we just went through the box office bombs. I get it, right? The stock's been annihilated. We talked about it. The debt load is really high. The company's in trouble. Yeah. Is it going to be sold? Is it going to be broken up? Like, you know, all these discussions. Yeah. He wants DCU Batman. I want to be, like, that's clearly to me what he's saying, right? Because if you said he just wants more Batman of any kind, well, hang on a minute. You had Michael Keaton in the Flash movie. You have... Pattinson in that world. You scrapped Batgirl, which had Keaton in it. You threw away Cape Crusader in animated form. So don't tell me like you didn't have other Bat. You had Batman of some kind. So what you want is you want DCU Batman, Brave and the Bold Batman. But what the article indicates, he is pushing Gunn to introduce that Batman before they make Brave and the Bold. He just wants that actor and character on the board as fast as possible so much so that the article says they have considered although it's not doesn't sound like it's going to happen they're going to that they would retcon the reeves batman as the dcu batman which i think would be a kind of a mistake at this point but oh yeah that that's been discussed that they would like somehow make it so pattinson was now their batman because he's already under contract and wearing the suit this starts to, Brian, in my view, starts to forfeit the words James Gunn spoke of when he referred to these films. Bingo. Right. It was, because we won't greenlight anything until we have a script we're happy with. It's a writer's driven process. You just made it a CEO driven process, which I get it. It's a business, but like, yeah. Here's the other thing. You can't make Pattinson the DCU Batman if you intend to make Brave and the Bold. You can't. A 20-something Bruce Wayne is not the character. It doesn't work. You can't put that character with a psychotic Damian Wayne. It does, so if you're going to do that, Brave and the Bold is gone. Well, I'm just saying, if you, do, if you do that, Brave and the Bold is gone, right? That yeah. project is canceled. You're starting yeah. over with something else. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm guessing is why... The Pattinson idea it sounds like it's not going to happen. I'm guessing Gunn threw himself in front of that and was like, you, I, we can't. We just can't do that. We need an older Bruce Wayne to go with this younger Damian Wayne. But the question now is Zazel's basically being like, you got to put him in a credit scene. So is, does that mean, which I interpret to mean Batman's in the credit scene for Superman, right? Isn't that the, isn't that the obvious takeaway from that? If he's saying he has to show up earlier, where else is he going to show up? They ain't going to debut him on some HBO Max Gotham series. That's not happening. He's debuting yeah. in a movie, and it would have to be Superman, I which is kind of like, why? Cutscene. I don't want to see him in a cutscene either. either. It's like, you, you know what? That happened. That would just, it, wouldn't that be like taking steps toward Donna Justice all over again? It's like, is Superman just not allowed to fly? <laughs> <laughs> Why like, can't we have a Superman trilogy? Why can't and then have these other movies happening around it? Why can't we do that? What we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose. Because the thing is, once Bat once Superman has other dudes around him, he is useless after that. He's the first guy out of the fight every time. <laughs> Cause you gotta take him out. <laughs> he gotta be the first one to go. <laughs> Because it's like, for what? Oh, my God, man. Hey, you'll make everybody happy if you introduce Alan Richardson as Batman. 
and 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 what's the guy's name? Um, Timothy Chalamet's Robin, or is Damian Wayne? Yeah. You don't have to put yeah. that movie out right away. By the way, if you just announce, oh, you got to that, and you have a big Allah Mahershala Ali, just announce it. <laughs> don't have no plan. No, but like if this is Gun, like I think Gun would write it. I think that's of a movie he could write. And then if you announce the real director, sorry, Andy Muschietti, I don't think he's getting the gig. If you put nope. a bigger name director in that seat and say, this is our team, people will wait for that movie and be excited. I think it'd be more yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't need to cameo Batman at the end of Superman, you know, next year to be like, oh, look at our guy. Look at our guy. We got to come. And the thing is, the article says he's desperate for this because he wants to compete with Marvel. Compete with Marvel? Maybe you shouldn't (laughs) worry about competing with Marvel right now. Marvel got plenty of problems. Like, let them them stew in that. But that's fine because he's recognizing it for what it is, Brian. And it has always been a competition. I don't care what nobody says. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I get that. You know, that's, you know, yeah, of course. It's WWF and WCW for sure. Yeah, but. yo. This is Eric Bischoff, Vince McMahon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's supposedly a really good McMahon documentary on I saw Netflix it. right now. I haven't watched it yet, but I've heard that's Watch really good. It. It's, so, yeah. it's very interesting. It's very so, interesting. So um but yeah, you announced that animation. Timothy Chalamet as Damian Wayne. And there's all you gotta do is just sit there and wait and just make sure that it's happening and doesn't sit like Mahershala Ali's Blake. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That is actually gonna happen. Cause that would just that would get everybody excited. But I mean the other yeah, and the other thing too is if you're if you're you speculated on said on the other day, and I think it's now this would also feed into that. If you need more Batman to tide you over, kick Matt Reeves in the ass and say, "Dude, get, we're, make make my other two movies." Yeah, back to back. Yeah, and be like, done. Like get those go off this, yeah, get those movies down to two hours and fifteen minutes each. Give them to me like one year apart, and we got a trilogy, and that tides you over. Like that's all you need. That first one made eight hundred million. Like. But why are we waiting you, six man. years for the next one? It's like, come on, man. So to to then be hopefully not disappointed, but there are gonna be expectations higher than you would probably think, you know, because there are little things that people wanna see. It's for us is a Bruce Wayne. And I feel yeah. Bruce Wayne in this, you know. So that's I mean it's like you had I, I just want to say when I hear Zaslaw say that, I'm kinda like you had a path to that, right? You could have just pushed Reeves a little harder to be like, hey, you know, I love your ideas for the TV shows, but like, let's make sure we get Batman 2 done. Let's make sure we get that, you know, and like we talked about it with Penguin, like they've kind of missed the connectivity a little bit there. And then they wouldn't have this problem of like, hey, yeah. feeling like they have a Batman void. Um, but hey, you know, they 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 allowed Phillips to do his thing. They're allowing Reeves to do his thing. It's a choice, right? I mean, and, and you got to, live and die by the consequences of that i saw the other day actually today where we're taping today we were talking about christopher nolan the other day we got that little short up talking about his process yeah, yeah. july july 20th 2026 he announced it he's ready to go with matt damon as his lead next movie at universal three years to the weekend to oppenheimer i would assume that james gunn perhaps already has his batman in mind and he doesn't he just doesn't want to announce certain things without getting to Superman first, because he's the focus right now. So I think it would be a mistake to make an announcement to, you know, I would tell Zaslav, chill, let Superman come out first, because that's, you like Superman, right? So let him let him do his thing. And I know you want that money too, but once we get Superman going, yeah. Batman could be around the corner when we announce that separately after Superman is done. We can't introduce no Batman at the end of Superman. Because then that takes all the attention. Because Batman, you mentioned Batman in a Superman movie. That's it. Bat, forget about it. People are going to be thinking about Batman. If you mention what? Batman in the first 10 minutes, forget about it. Your movie is over. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Now, the so, part of it I can sort of sympathize with Zaslav is some of the stuff that we talked about where it's like we're hearing all these other rumored DC projects. And I could see Zaslav being like, James, James, I love your imagination. But we need Batman and we need Superman. And like, yeah. let's get those right. And then I'll let you do anything you want with the other ones. <laughs> that part I could get with. I can, I can see Zazlov like, yo, 
Plastic Manual. Sergeant Rock. And I don't gotta hear this dude calling me about this. Come on, man. Give me Batman. <laughs> Not this other stuff. Uh like you lucky I let you get away with creature commandos. You're already pushing the needle right there. And then he did this you... dynamic duo Robins animated movie that kind of came out of nowhere. They that's it... official. That's happening. What is it again? It's Dick Grayson and Jason Todd in uh the the two Robins animated film, or it's like part animated, part stop motion. I, I don't know anyone who asked for that. I was like, yo, but see, this is the thing that we've been worried about with James, you know? Yeah, the editing. It's like, yeah. it's too like, yo, ideas. chill, yo, too many ideas. And if you, listen, it's fine to have too many ideas. I have a lot of ideas, but we can't be announcing them to, because what, what's the focus? What's the focus? Why haven't we had a Superman trailer? Well, what is your maybe, plan? Maybe it's a win that it was not attached to Joker, though. That we probably oh, yeah, should, of course. We should yeah, probably call should. that a, they avoided a detonation by not putting it on. They probably that. knew because they probably knew. I'm pretty sure James Gunn knew about because we, Brian, we're not the first one to get. I'm pretty sure they know. Well, I think in retrospect, after I thought about it, I think the reason he wouldn't do it is because, as he said, it's not part of the DCU. It would be yeah, confusing yeah. to put my lead DCU film trailer oh, yeah, 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 yeah. in Elseworlds. He wouldn't do it. That's why he wouldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. R-rated movie. You want it? Superman's more family yeah, friendly. Yeah, like yeah, you know, you, yeah, you wouldn't yeah, do that. No. But, but like, the thing that worries me with what we've been talking about is resources are limited here. That's the thing, right? Like, yeah, it's not like they've got all this cash lying around to fund a hundred million here, fifty million there, two hundred million there. Like, you have to be judicious in where you put your dollars, especially now. When Joker, a movie they would have just said, hey, we got a couple hundred million in cash is going to come in our coffers. That's not going to happen now. Yeah. They have to have hits. Yeah. Brian, Superman is in the can. So was Black Adam when they made the announcement about the future, the new <laughs> hierarchy. They had their plan. This is sounding very similar, man, in that you're announcing all these other things. Yeah, we haven't heard a peep about, about this movie. We, we have our high hopes for this movie because we have someone there that has a plan and has done great work and has done great things. But this is a, this is a feat to... And not to say this is Brian, I'm pretty, I mean, would you say, Brian, that people are sort of, uh, I mean, Christopher Reeve's Superman, that movie, the Superman, the movie, is it up there? Is it going to be a bar that people want this movie to reach and surpass? Or how do you think people are looking uh, 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 on this movie coming out? That's an interesting question. I think the comparisons are inevitable. Um... I don't think people need it to be that, though. I, mm -hmm. I don't. Um, because as great as that movie is, I think it leaves room for... It. I think that's more of a core and sweat thing than a movie thing. I don't know if I'm wrong about that. Maybe people will disagree with me. I think David core and sweat faces the comparison directly to Christopher Reeve himself. Mm -hmm. then I think this movie faces the comparison to everything that Superman the movie was. Mm -hmm. Because as, as great as the, prof as the movie is remembered, there, there's definitely things in it where you watch it now and you're like, oh yeah, there's room for modernization, right? Like, oh, yeah, like yeah. I, to me, like, I don't think Nicholas Holt is going to be held to any Gene Hackman standard. He's going to deliver, I think, a more serious performance. I think that's an opportunity where he can be the best live action Lex Luthor we've seen. Yes. And that can really help this movie. I think Rachel Brosnahan can be the best live action no, Lois Lane. Lane yeah. And yeah. that can help this movie. And I think there's things that Superman can borrow from the essence of the way Reeve played the character, but then deliver it in a way that has, you know, whether it's through the action or whether it's through the set pieces, that is, you know, more modern and more 
spectacular in some ways than even mm. what, what that looked like back then. Again, mm. movies being shot in IMAX largely. So that's scale wise, I think offers opportunity visually to do some things. Mm. So no, I think it's more corn sweat. I think it's him that people will just, do you see Christopher Reeve? And I gotta be, look, I gotta be honest. Don't dismiss Henry Cavill from that conversation. This is the moment where, like, there's a oh, lot yeah. of people who like the visual, the physical of what he yeah. had, the presence of what he brought. Even if we can talk about the yelling and the lack of dialogue or whatever, he is a factor in this discussion. For a lot of people, he is the Superman they think of. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I think Corin Sweat will face that comparison. But I think well. that's just visually. I don't think that's anything else. I, I think visually. that's fair. But I think if you to a, a generation of people, Henry Cavill is Superman. They didn't grow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, Superman, sure, 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 right? Sure, and like sure, Brandon sure. Routh wasn't Superman long enough for it to matter. So I think Corin Sweat faces a tall order to look and embody the character more so than the rest of the cast. But yeah. But I think people yeah, that, are ready, though. I will say this. I think people are ready for a rock and roll fun time at a Superman movie. I really do. Like, I think, if, I think if this has, like, a Top Gun Maverick type of vibe to it, I don't mean the movie. I'm just saying that feel yeah. of, like, positivity that that movie yeah. engendered. I think this movie will do really well. Yeah. Yeah, let us know um, what you guys think of... Uh, I know this turned into a Superman discussion, but... Uh, what you think of Zaslav wanting more Batman? And what do you think about the prospects of Superman? What are we going to be... Uh, how, what are you comparing this to? Are you looking for that nostalgic feeling that way? Because every, every time I watch the first Christopher Reeve Superman, it's like, it's, I got to sit there and watch this. It has... It, the way they set every moment up with the music, it's just everything is just perfect about those moments. 